So yesterday we were, we were, we faced some scenarios where the script was looking good, but still I don't see the result in my Excel sheet when I'm retrieving it. The reason behind that is uh, data block issue in SBS. Data block is a critical issue in uh, which we need to take care whenever we are writing any business rules. Like we saw yesterday, if I'm putting sales equal to 100, uh, it's still not reflecting. But when I'm using the command set non, non create non missing block on it it gives me the result. So we'll just uh, try this. Are, there are three ways to avoid uh, missing blocks issue in SBase. So oh, the first one is data copy. The next one is we can use set command create block on equation. The last one which we used yesterday create non missing block on. So uh, whenever you are writing the script it validates successfully and you know the script looks good but still you are not getting uh, the desired result. These three things should uh, click on your mind. So the first one we'll see is the data copy. The data copy is the best method uh, used. What we just uh, what it does is it just copies from one sparse dimension. The best the best practice is to copy from a sparse dimension to another sparse dimension. So if we want to copy data, suppose we are copying data from actuals to budget. So we'll use data copy. In case of data copy, it auto automatically creates the block. So the next option is to use a set command create set create block on equation that is create block on equation. So if we have some equation sales equal to margin equal to sales minus cost of goods sold cox. Suppose I have that equation just before that equation I can write set create block on equation and on and then after that equation I can write uh, I can make that set condition as off. These set commands, uh, we have a file in sbase which we call config file, sbase.cfg is the file name. So if you go to that file, you'll get all the set commands. Uh, you, you, can, you can see all the set commands there. So there is one option to directly go to that config file and make the set commands on or off what you want. Or you can mention explicitly in your business rule. So if you mention this set command in the config file it is applicable across the rule if you don't if you don't even mention it in the rule but if you're not mentioning like set create block on equation is off in the uh, config file if you want to uh, enable this then you will have to explicitly mention this set command in the business rule Usually what we do is we set it on in the database in the config file itself or else we will mention this on in across all the uh, rules. The next one create non missing block on we used it yesterday we were uh, we were not facing any issues yesterday because our database is not very huge but if it's a huge database this might create issues if we are not uh, using it properly like we need to mention it just before we are calculating suppose I am writing sales equal to 100 I need to mention the set command and I have fix here fix members and my end fix is here if I mention set create non missing block on here It will it will in, it will impact my performance because it will create non whatever blocks are non missing it will create for all the intersections suppose I'm mentioning in the fix all products all market so it will try to create all the mistake calculate for all the non missing blocks also for this uh, for for sales it will try to calculate all the non missing blocks so the best practice is to write these sentences just above here and not here. Best practice is to follow this and remember we can't use this inside an if statement so you'll have to uh, modify your script such that you can accommodate this. So you can instead of if you can just fix that member here. Suppose I am fixing, I am writing if budget. So I can write just budget here 
and then I can use this create non-missing block on it.